It's your boy JP. Back at it with another video. Check it out, check it out, check it out. And today I have Bill Burr making a return. Who? This one is called No Reason to Hit a Woman. And it's how you argue, how women argue. This is the full clip from you people are all the same. From the video, I guess from the stand up. You from you people are all the same. But anyway, this is um, no reason to hit a woman and how women argue. But um, I already know this is this is gonna be crazy because Bill Burr ain't the type of dude to be politically correct. Facts, facts. But at the same time, he does make good points. But before we dive into the video, first things first, in the description box, original link to the video, and hit there's gonna be my social medias and everything like that. Hit the links, get involved. Two, leave a like for the video. Quickly, expeditiously, nigga. Man, it's free. Free. And three, you know what I need. You know exactly what I need to get this video popping. Bow, 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 bow. Headphones. We're going to dive right into this video. Earl. And now, our feature presentation. <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. No, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for the view, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, you know? <laughs> Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers <laughs> because she didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know? Wow. It's gonna fucking rust, right? How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for, oh, fuck, ah! Now I get it, I'm so daisy, sweetheart, here we go. There you go, oh. Wow. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. Yo, I had a pause right there because I already know. First things first, if a woman says to him, like, yo, have you grown up in the manners? And people from the manners, on my social media, you know, the women down there, they get gully. I seen women from the manners fight dudes and straight thrash dudes. Somebody ran down on him, closed his curtains. Turned his TV off. I mean, not on, on some yo. They throw they set up and thrash dudes. I have women in my family beat up boys. I mean, straight mollywop dudes. So, yeah, I, I'm not. Obviously, I'm not saying yo. As soon as you, you know, don't don't. Don't on some like like you said, oh, the fork is here instead of here. Nah, I'm not saying that. But um, dude, if you ever grow up in the manners, it, it's either yo, you you let her put you in, yeah, you, you let her put you in a coma, or you try to get try to get home safely. That's all I gotta say, boy, because they were ruthless back in the day. Let's get back in it. Wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. Mm -hmm. Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying. <laughs> Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? There you go. Every day. 
You didn't do it, right? Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You got to move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's going to stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not. Wow. <laughs> wow. He went on soliloquy. Holy. Holy. Sh for real, man. That, that drive any man crazy. But at this point, like he said, obviously, you don't, this is an of course situation. This is one of those, I call it of course, I was watching a Joe Budden podcast, it's one of those, it's, this is a of course situation. Of course, you shouldn't put your hands on a woman. Of course, you shouldn't do anything to provoke in action or provoke something to happen. And men and women should keep their hands off each other. Basically, period, point, is, point blank, period. No man should hit a woman, no woman should hit a man. Facts. There should be no reason why a woman is throwing her set up and trying to square up with a dude, or the same way with a dude should come home from the bad day at the plant, walking in the house, what? You know what? Egg, what? You give me eggplant? I, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Out of here, or something like that, or I don't know why I said eggplant. Crazy, but anyway, there should be no reason why. I, whatever sex you want, whatever pronoun you use, hitting each other. Period. Point blank. Let's get back into this. I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons in that arc of a story. All right, that was a hypothetical. <laughs> you want an actual story? I'll give you one. I'll give you one. All right, I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's, because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is going to lead me to the light, right? This, this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> So I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I, I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. Like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. I'll be fine, right? Next morning, I wake up. My foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up. My girl I go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always got to, like, waterboard me with, like, a 20-minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go, fuck yourself. Just say no. So I'm just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? Yo, I felt him so much when it came to that, yo. Because this is something that I had to get out of the habit of doing. Because I'm be honest with you. A lot of people don't want an explanation anymore. I was always the type of person to where I always get people explanations of why they want to do something or why they want to go somewhere. I'm at a point right now, I just don't give an explanation anymore. I just say no, yes, maybe, 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 no, yes, that's it. Yes or no? Because nowadays, it doesn't matter what explanation you give a person. Nine times out of ten, if it's the answer, the answer you give them is not what they want to hear. They check out at that point. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Because you cannot fulfill something that they need from you. So... You giving that whole soliloquy, that whole explanation of why you can't do something or why you're, you know, why your answer, you know, why your answer is not what they expect is irrelevant. It's moot at this point. So just give them a no. Boom. Call it a day. I'm not going to explain nothing to you. Yes or no. Period. Bam. Unless it's like some, unless it's your employer. At that point, you have to give an explanation. But a significant other. They said he want if they want you to go somewhere. Nah, I don't want to do it. And then if they ask why, 
then you get explanation. If they don't ask why, just say nah and let it ride. But let's get back into it. So now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's fucking goddamn bullshit. Dogs walking next to me. And I got to admit, I got a little childish. I did. I got a little childish, you know? I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You just gonna do whatever the hell you wanna do, right? And fuck me? Fine, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. so that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. And that was it. She came down the hall, I just ghosted her. Just walked right <laughs> past her. <laughs> just trying to piss her off. And I gotta tell you something, work like a charm. <laughs> Work like a charm. Yeah, hung my coat up, <coughs> turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening to. <laughs> oh, it's one of the highlights of the relationship. So I knew what she was saying. I was like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're going to talk about this right now. Comes out, poo, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears. It fucking hurt. So I'm like, wow. honey, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poo, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. <laughs> Caveman DNA starts coming up. Talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it, right? Put them on third time. She comes up. Poo, slaps them right across the room. And I snap. I'm like, fine. You want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. Right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her Yo, yo, that triggered me right there just now. Cause I felt where you came from that one because I, like I said, I grew up with sisters and they know how to push you to that point. If so they know, they know how to push you to that point to where you snap and then they play victim afterwards. I hate it so much, dude. I hate, Mitch, my boy Mitch, I hate every minute of it. Yo, it, it, oh my God, man. Yo, it's it's just too crazy. Facts, facts. Oh man, I know that film. The rage comes out. The rage comes out of you. But let's get back in it. Behind the couch, just leave her there till she got thirsty. Mm -hmm. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. <laughs> You've made your point. This is this is ridiculous. No, that's the thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> when you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you gonna solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What, is, what does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taping a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What? what? Come on, man. He was asking a he was asking a valid question, and that lady just just interrupted him with some shenanigans. Come on, man. Like, and that could have been her time to, to be like, it's not right or whatever, whatever, blah blah blah. But no, she interrupted with her shenanigans. But he is right though. Like, people like to investigate the effect, but not the cause, and not the issue. And like I like he said. There's some scumbag men out there who, you know, who just come home and, you know, and just want to hand out tune-ups to the wife. And they're wrong. They belong under the jail or they belong and they need to get the help they need to get. But, like I said, where I've grown up and the women I've had to encounter, like I told you, when the woman is wrong... But they will molly whop you to the to the to the Broward General. So you it's one of those things. Pick that poison. 
I don't know, man. But I'm into bear hugging, pushing, and leave. That's that's how I'm into bear hug, push, leave. Bear hug, leave. That's it. That's 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 my steez. Bear hug, leave. That's it. I don't I don't tune up, forearm smash, ground and pound. I don't do. I don't I don't leave women with speed knots. That's not my steez. I don't, I don't get how men could do that to women, but. Yo, bear hug, leave. That's it. But let's get back into this. Fucking had to ignore all of that, and now you're gonna like yell out, and not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Answer him. Answer him. Every Ooh. fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> always right down the fucking middle. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. And I think you just added another reason. Jesus fucking Christ. <coughs> I love this. I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. Ooh. This is stupid. Fucking unbelievable. Ooh. Look. I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, you, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I got bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? <laughs> how did this snake get so mad it almost killed you? <laughs> Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They <laughs> sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. <laughs> I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tune a casserole, and just start swinging, all right? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, Ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baston Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? And he fucking, ah, fucking. <laughs> Or do you think maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said? Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. Wow. Like, to be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue, do you keep those in the glove box? Oh my God, I'll bring my out. I'll bring my out. <laughs> Now, fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. Hey, before he, get, before he goes in there, before he goes deep into it, I have to agree. He's making valid points. There's nothing left to be said. I don't need to put my input into this. He's hitting, it on the, he's hitting a nail on the head. No input needed from me. I'm, I'm going to sit back. If he says anything flagrant, I'll have to step in and be like, yo, my man, you wild on this point. But anyway, I'm agreeing with him so far. But let's get back into it. You know, and I got to tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years of losing every significant battle in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees, apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right, no problem with that, totally respect it. But here's the thing, if they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. 
They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head, they just start concocting this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed, this desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it, you're in this room now, right? That is the art of deflection right there. That's that, that's that, yo, he is right about that. He is right. And like I said, I grew up with sisters. I know what it is. I know the tactics of how to basically win, a, win an argument. They, like, he's right about that. They get you mad enough to where you say something out of character. And then when you say that thing that's out of character, boom. Any point that you could have made is negated at this point because you should never call her a B word. You should never call her, like he said, a cunt or whatever like that. If as soon as you call her those those words that should not be said to a woman, boom, they could have been wrong. You could have had them on camera, keying your car, slashing your tires. They could have been messing around with your best friend and you call him on the ring camera as soon as you call her something out of her out, as soon as you call her out of her name jazz okay, nigga suck my dick, dick pussy shut the fuck up boom argument loss bam over done with finito so it he makes a valid point i exaggerated those points but he made a valid point let's get back into it my girl knows my big thing is, my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple, turn it down! <laughs> that isn't music! So I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, I don't know where she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. The next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right, what happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, <laughs> just know this. Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, okay? You're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you, you got a little dick, just let that slide. <laughs> Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay, it's over. The argument is over. You've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock. All right? Yes. Lean on the ropes. Let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. Hey, that was the video. That was a good one. That was hilarious. Um, that's the video for the day. And y'all already know, man, like he hit it on the he hit he hit the nail he hit the nail on the head, man. I there's nothing more I can add to it. And this was mad hilarious and mad dope. But um he made a good point at the end. Hey, when you when you know you win that argument and they start throwing they start flailing insults at you and i i have women that do that to me too start flailing insults oh, that's why you're fat that's why nah, 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 nah. like get you start talking about so, stuff that make you know that you're mad sensitive about just be like okay just think to yourself oh now now we're not arguing anymore now we're insulting each other so now i know i got you where i need you so no more no need to keep arguing with you at this point no need for me to keep proving my point because at this at this time right now you're not trying to make a point right now you're trying to get me mad to exit an argument to come out on top nope i ain't i know your game i was born at night but not last night but that's it that's the video for the day richard video is going to be down in the description box with my social media and go ahead and hit the link get involved you already know what it is it's jp on the mic Huh? Go ahead and drop a like. What? Subscribe if you haven't.
Why is that my ringtone? Because it's my phone. Let's get back to the, why is that my ringtone? Because it's my phone. That's why it's my ringtone. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. From the first time you show love, I knew you was my uh, And I ain't about to see you treated bad, I'm out that life for my I'ma keep it transparent, I'ma keep it warm, uh, nah. Girl, I want you